start these things up. But <clears throat> it's been a few days since I've made one, made a video, because I've uh, been having a hard time sleeping lately. It's kind of been messing with my brain a bit. But I have managed to get some sleep within the last couple of days, so a little bit more back to normal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a video on uh, my outline, my blueprint, I guess, for uh, for recovery and getting better. I've got it written down here. Um, first on the list is uh, like uh, holistic supplements, like basically anything I can get my hands on, uh, fish oil. Asparagus, I've heard is good. Uh, holy basil, <laughs> things like that, just to just to give my body that and brain that uh, that little extra little extra help there. Um, the next one kind of falls in line with that is exercise, and I have been keeping up with that. just give the uh, adrenaline an outlet <coughs> so I've been trying to keep up with that uh, next is uh, uh, support groups get those in place uh, not just online with the uh, YouTube and, and uh, Twitter but also I've talked with you know all of my friends and people I know and just let them know I have this so now a lot of times they will ask me to do things ask me if I want to go somewhere or something whereas they never would before and they've all been real supportive and helpful so and the, uh, the online support that kind of works both ways because I get I get a lot out of the encouragement that I get from others, but I also get a lot out of encouraging others myself. So all that's been really good help, and that's been working really good so far. Um, next is uh, exposures, exposure therapies. Uh, I've, been, I've been doing those for quite a few months now, and this video, you know, doing these videos, is exposure therapy for me as well. Cause it's also something I'm really uncomfortable with doing and I just need to do more of and those have been working for me really well <coughs> my anxiety levels going into the store is a lot less than it used to be uh, I still don't really go in by myself all that often getting better and better. <coughs> uh, the next one is uh, to change my thought patterns and just be more mindful of them. Uh, a good example is you know, when I walk outside in my front yard, I just always look next door to see if my neighbors are out or, or, or watching me and and if I see him out there, then I'll turn around and run inside. So now, when I catch myself doing that, I just try and change the thought patterns and and just tell myself, you know, my my neighbors are nice people. They're you know they're friendly, and if I see them, I'll I'll I try and tell myself if I see my neighbors. You know, I want to see him. I want to uh, wave and say hello. You know, be friendly. <laughs> and there's no reason I shouldn't. So, you know, I'm just trying to do that. Anytime I catch myself doing that kind of of behavior of just trying to hide from people, and I try to examine the reason why I'm doing that, and then change that thought process and that's 
been helping you know, right off the bat. That's been that's been doing me some good. Uh, <coughs> The last one is really the one I think is going to be the main help for me is visualization, like uh, kind of like with with your uh, guided uh, meditations, and that type of thing. You know, um, imagining peaceful surroundings, peaceful places. I even think about just uh, trying to compose paintings in my head. trying to to rewire that part of my brain that I've been using so long to visualize bad things happening. I mean, when I when I used to drive, that's what I would do. I would start getting that almost being hypnotized by the road and then I would start visualizing getting in a car accident and I would visualize the glass flying in my face and this, you know, the steering wheel embedding in my chest, you know, just all these horrible images while I'd be driving and put myself in a panic attack. And so now I'm just trying to rework all that and and just always be trying to create new peaceful neural pathways. The main goal of all these things is just mainly to reduce the anxiety, to make myself more able to go into the public and focused on panic attacks themselves or trying to stop them uh, as far as coming up with techniques and whatnot to stop panic attacks. Generally when I have panic attacks they hit pretty quick and I'm pretty incapacitated during them. I'm not really in my right mind so you know if I'm even if I even am conscious so it's it's not really feasible for me to try and reverse the process once it's already happening. I just need to keep it from happening to start with by reducing the anxiety levels and just stopping all that bad visualization and bad thought processes that I have that make that happen. As far as my goal for all this, I don't. I'm not really focused on trying to get just 100% well. Uh, you know, things like driving a car again and stuff like that seem a long way away right now. But anything I can get, anything you know, 20% better, I'll take it. You know, whatever. Uh, any improvement that I make and any improvement that this brings in my life will be worth all the effort so you know, I'm just going to be happy with whatever I get and keep moving on if, uh, if none of this works or is not giving me the results I want then I'll, just, I'll have to come up with a new plan I'm learning more about this all the time I'm reading up on it all the time so I'm sure I'll learn more things and I, I learn things watching other people's videos a lot of the stuff on here on my list is stuff I've learned from other people's videos just watching them and getting ideas from them so I'm sure I'll get a lot more ideas later and, and be able to implement new things like that so I'm, I'm still real optimistic and and uh, I've still got my will directed towards this so we'll see how it goes and I'll make sure and keep y'all posted so thanks a lot for watching